Welcome to Zen Fits from Blackstone, Virginia, the center of the world, but then you two are the center of the world. So the title of this talk is, um, for right now, is Play It Again, Sam. <laughs> Remember the uh, movie Casablanca and uh, that famous line where Humphrey Bogart tells uh, the piano player, uh, Louis Armstrong, play it again, Sam, play it again. And isn't that what life is, the mind? Isn't our mind like a stuck record where we keep playing the same questions over? What should I do? Should I choose vanilla or chocolate or chocolate or vanilla? Or maybe vanilla would be better. No, chocolate's got, well then maybe vanilla, but then chocolate, chocolate. But then maybe a vanilla has something I might, if I don't choose chocolate, just play it again. Isn't that our mind? Isn't that the tape loop of thinking? The monologue in the mind, like a microphone in an amplifier, wah, wah, wah. Turn it off. <laughs> Stop playing it again. Stop playing the same old song. Where is the needle to the record player? Where is the needle? It's stuck. I can't find the needle. Somebody else tell me, where is the needle? Go on Facebook, Quora. How do I turn it off? How do I find the needle to lift it off the record, you see? And let Jesus do it. To let God do it. Let Tolly do it. Let Buddha do it. Somebody. Let Trump do it. <laughs> let Biden do it. Somebody tell me how to stop playing it again, you see. Isn't that the dis-ease of our minds? If our mind is at dis-ease, well then the world is at dis-ease. So we try to stop the dis-ease by fixing the world. But our mind is the record. Where is the needle to the record, the stuck record in our mind? That's the question. Where is it, you see? Can't find it. Why? Because the search for it is the needle. <laughs> the search for the needle is the needle. We're stuck in the search. We can't find, we can't get out of play it again, you see. We're stuck in the, in the record. Well, we don't have records anymore. That was a great metaphor. Hey, the record's stuck. Maybe you stomp on the floor, get that needle to jump, or you lift it up and put it back down. It's stuck, you see. These are great, our old technology was great metaphors. Everything's digital now. We don't, we have to find new metaphors. But a stuck record, we can identify with that because we know what it feels like. There's a tension, there's a dis-ease, there's a search for peace. Or there's a search for the song to continue and not get wah, 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 you see. Now I found, I'm not, I don't practice, I'm not a Zen Buddhist, but I found Zen to help me understand where the needle is. Where the needle arm, you know, there's a needle arm, you lift it up, you see. Can't find it, you see. So the, the, the question, um, who am I? Where's the needle? How do I stop the music from, how do I stop from playing this? How do I stop Groundhog Day? There's a good metaphor, Groundhog Day. The day keeps repeating. It's stuck. I wake up, it's the same day. Everyone else thinks it's different. Everyone else thinks it's a new day, but I know it's the same day. So what is that knowledge, you see? That knowing it's the same day. That knowing that I'm repeating myself. That knowing, that sense, that nagging, that haunting question or haunting realization that I'm stuck that I'm just repeating myself over and over again. Everyone else is running on. Then I say, what's, you know, don't they know <laughs> that they're stuck, you see? So this, where is it, you see? This is the Zen question. This is the Zen question. All of the cones 
all of the little mondos or Zen dramas of the monks and the masters you see are basically about the stuck record and where the needle is. Where is the needle? So we think the needle is knowing. I should know where the needle is. I should know what the answer is. What's the answer? I'll study more. I'll do more Buddha. I'll do more yoga, more, more Toli, uh, more Ramana Maharshi, uh, more Young. I'll do more of that. I'll study more because they know the answers. Or I'll do more Jesus. Jesus knows, or God, or the Bible, or the priest, or whatever you see. They'll tell me where they, you know, somebody knows. Somewhere I'll know where the needle, where the needle is, where, who I am, where my ease is. Where my ease is, you see. Now I have dis-ease, and I know there's ease somewhere. Who can tell me? So I want to know it, you see. And that's the problem. I want to know the answer in the future. All answers are in the future. You want to know how to f fix a lawnmower? Well, the fixing is in the future, so you get a manual to get to the future, and it runs. Okay, that works with machines, but it doesn't work with you or me or life, you see, because we're not a machine. So the manual for the machine doesn't work. So if you want to know how to fix the machine, you can find out on Google. But if you want to know how to fix yourself, you can't find out on Google because you want to know in the future. So where is the needle, you see? It's not in the future, it's now. The needle, wah, 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 is now. And the stuckness lets you know that the needle is now. So when you see through and through, after all your struggle to find the needle, to stop the music from playing over and over again, the same old song, you see, the Groundhog Day, so when you find, when you realize, and only you can realize, nobody can tell you, you have to see it. You have to see that you are the needle looking in the future for the needle. So if you see that you are the needle, that the question is the needle, the seeing that the question is the needle on the record lifts the needle. Seeing that the needle, that your mind's question about where is the needle to unstick the record is you, your own mind. When you see that, the needle lifts. The seeing lifts the needle. So what is the seeing? Now we think seeing is like I know, I believe. I see means I believe. Well, that is not the seeing we're talking about. If your hand is on a hot plate and you smell something burning and you feel something's burning and you look down and you see that your hand is on the hot plate, do you think, oh, my hand's on a hot plate, should I lift it? No. The seeing is the lifting of the hand. We all know that. When you see that you are uh, doing something that is creating pain, you don't think about what to do. There's no gap. The seeing and the doing is one. The seeing that your hand is on the hot plate and the lifting of your hand on the pot is one act. Knowing is being. Knowing is action. So when you see that your mind is the, that your question is the needle, the seeing lifts the needle in the same way that your seeing lifts your hand from a hot plate. There's no gap. There's no time. You see, thinking I should do something creates a gap of time. Here I am now, I think I should do something here. That's time. But seeing that is doing Seeing that is action, knowing that is being, is no time. No time. It's spontaneous now. Seeing that shifts you from being 
dis-ease to being at ease. So one is always at ease, but we use the dis-ease to see that. We are always at ease, but we use the dis-ease to see that. Thanks for dropping in. Ha, ha, ha.